Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can change the flight models of the, I would say, remaining aircrafts which are on the airport. Right, we're uh, currently on uh, Garden Moon Airport and you can see that there are several airports, right? So for this tutorial, I increased the, I'd say, density of traffic to high and normally I'm having it set to uh, medium uh, because it impacts the performance. And what you see currently is you see some of the aircrafts are, I would say, the default ones, right? Which are the normal model uh, uh, aircraft but you can also see i would say pretty weird ones and in those scenarios that they, what they've done is they replace them with i would say weird colors and uh, i would say different things and that's i would say a little bit of pity because if you do that that becomes i would say less realistic right because you would like to see real aircrafts with real airline uh, i would say painting on it and the, the thing is that if you want to do it, you need to change the setting because by default, uh, or at least I think it's by default, it's set to off. So let's switch to the menu and let me show you how to do it. So what you need to do is you need to go to uh, the general options and inside the general options, you will find the traffic menu, right? Which allows you to change the uh, the, uh, the aviation traffic, right? Uh, in this case, it's AI uh, offline, but you can also set it to, I would say, off or completely to real time or to AI offline. And then based on this, you can change the traffic density. This is only for the traffic which is in the air, right? It doesn't have anything to do with the traffic which is on the ground as far as I figured out. Uh, so you can change this one to be, I would say more dense or less dense, right? Depending on what you want. Uh, but if you scroll down, you can find the AI and multiplayer traffic detail because that's the detail of the aircrafts uh, which you encounter during your flight or during your taxiing on the airports. So by default, it's set to use generic plane models, AI traffic on, and the same thing is for the multiplayer. Now, if you want to use AI traffic, then you can change this option and this option will ensure that it will use, I would say, the non-optimized, non-generic uh, models. However, it will result in a higher CPU load, so be aware of that. So switch. I'm going to switch this to off. I'll leave this one to high, and I'm going to uh, either set this one to uh, real-time online, right, which means that it simulates real-world traffic, uh, or you can set it to AI offline, then it will generate artificial traffic and use the settings below uh, to customize the traffic density. Well, in my case, I'm going to set it to uh, real-time online, and then this setting, which is here, uh, you don't have, I think it doesn't, or three, this setting still applies, but this setting doesn't apply anymore. So let's hit apply and save, and then uh, go back. In some circumstances, you need to restart it to be effective. So I'm gonna do that to be 100% sure that that's the case. So let's see, normally it shouldn't take too long to load. But it depends because we now changed an option, right? Some, sometimes it takes a little bit more time. Uh, so click ready to fly. We're already ex at the exterior of the aircraft. And you still see, I would say, the weird ones, right? That's, I would say, kind of normal. Uh, let me try to turn again. But if we move further and further, and hopefully we do see some other traffic, because that's always the question, where you should see, I would say, aircrafts which are painted in the color of one of the liveries which you have installed. For example, what we now see is this nice DC-6, right, with the uh, Icelander colors. That's normally, I would say, should will not be visible if you're using the generic models because the DC-6 uh, is not part of the uh, normal flight or normal aircraft story. Then if we continue our trip, let's see if we spot something different here. Well, here we see, uh, for example, the Air Canada livery. The Air Canada livery is also not normally part of it. I think this is, they would say, this is one which has, I would say, less detail, as you can see. Uh, and keep that in mind, it will use the level of detail which is, I would say, applied to the livery, right? So don't expect it to pimp the uh, liveries. Uh, here we've got another one, the FedEx. So you can see that 
by switching on that option it will increase the cpu and memory usage so be aware of that but uh, it will give you a more realistic view so once again if you want to change it go to general options in the general options go to uh, traffic then change it either to real time online or uh, all off or ai offline sorry if you change the ai offline these settings will still apply if you ch change the real time online it will also apply as far as i figured out so that's good uh, if you want to have real models so besides the default uh, flight models and liveries in flight simulator also i take the custom ones like uh, the a320 from uh, phoenix uh, maybe the uh, fly by wire one maybe someone some aircraft from aerosoft then switch this option to off because in that case it will say use those aircrafts and liveries uh, depending on the uh, variety you can uh, change this option to medium right if you change to medium then you're changing the i would say randomization of the traffic and the ground vehicles and airport workers uh, so that will result in i would say less cpu and memory load so be aware of that so this and this both has impact on memory and cpu so keep an eye on it if you're playing with these settings here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.